Want to make a beer batter deep fried piece of hake with a homemade tartar sauce? This is the first step. Right, so the first thing you've got to do is make up the tartar sauce and you do that first because you want to keep the batter as cold as possible before you put it in the deep fryer. So, quite simple to do. You're going to need about half a cup mayo, one or two gherkins that have been finely chopped and they can be a bit rustic. Put that into your mayo. Some capers, roughly chop those up. Little handful of some fresh parsley. Little bit of dill. Half an onion, finely chopped. And last but not least, the juice of half a lemon. Skin side up, so that we don't get those seeds. Let's give it a good old whirl. Mix up all those ingredients. Mm. Crunchy, tart, sweet, rich. And lovely, nice gourmet man. So, tartar's out the way. The real trick is to keep this as cold as possible, and for this we only need a couple of things. Two cups of flour. The reason you use a sieve is to give it a bit of aeration so that the batter will be nice and light and fluffy. Six teaspoons of baking powder, a cold beer. Should be two, but you want the batter that you're gonna put the hake in to have this consistency of like really thick cream. I'm gonna mix that up. Part of this is keeping all those ingredients as cold as possible so that when you deep fry the fish, the batter is really cold. So you can imagine that it's uh, the oil when you deep fry it is really hot, the batter is really cold, and when you chuck it in, it goes and gets really nice and crispy. You're going to have to deep fry your fish, so heat up enough canola oil to cover it. Tartar done, batter ready. Last thing we have to do is season the fillets of hake. A little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt, be generous. And then you just want a light dusting of flour. It's already been deboned so you don't have to worry about it. And don't take the skin off the hake. The flavor or the collagen is in the skin of the fish so don't take that off. You can impress those spices into the fillets of hake. And then quite simply what you're going to do is when the oil gets really nice and hot you're going to dip those fillets into the batter. Put them into the oil, it's going to go nice and crispy. We're going to take it out, but put it onto some carton roll just so it can take off that excess fat. And remember, if your oil's not hot enough, it's going to soak into the batter and make it really oily and greasy, and that's the last thing you want. And now that the hake is nice and crispy, put it onto a plate and serve your mates. And that's it. Crispy fried hake with a homemade tartare in a creamy gourmet mayo, and this is a meal fit for fishermen and kings.